like the situation Sorrentino's rise to fame had its pitfalls, as fame often does. AKA the situation has entered rehab, not just for exhaustion, but also for an addiction to prescription pills and alcohol. Um, I obviously was on uh, Dancing with Stars in 2011, and um, I hurt my lower back and neck, and uh, by a doctor I was prescribed an opioid prescription. Mike's looking to help others beat their addiction. Mike, the situation Sorrentino has been sentenced to eight months in federal prison for tax evasion. A situation like evasion. this where Mike Sorrentino has righted his life and he's contributing uh, significantly. Today, Jersey Shore star Mike, this situation Sorrentino, was released from federal prison after doing time for tax evasion. team. Our nicknames are the, the situations. So in that, particular, in that particular sense, we are the master of all situations. And I have faced recovery um, and I am winning right now. I have the winning recipe um, and with Mr. Situation by my side and she's had the experience coming from a family member to, to support me. I feel that we can uh, tackle uh, any obstacle together. And uh, we have a good story. Yeah, I think it's hitting it at all angles between um, him being the addict in recovery and then me being the familial support. Um, and also with the own experience I had with my brother. Um, you know, he didn't make it out, but he did. So they're polar opposites mm -hmm. of, of what can happen. Yeah, I believe visiting these treatment centers for me and uh, this situation here, it's, it's our life's work. And I believe that uh, we are doing awesome things. I believe that uh, at the end of the day, we're doing God's work. Uh, we're sharing our experience, strength, and hope, um, so that we may save one life. And I know that, and I know, I know that we will. At the end of the day, I'm sitting in front of you guys, and that's what saved my life. Right now, the road might look impassable. It really is. You're going to come across stop signs. You're going to come red lights, detours, one ways. I'm going to tell you to continue to move forward, regardless. To maintain my sobriety. Uh, I work on myself on a daily basis. I try to be my best self one day at a time. So I had a lot of insecurities going back to NTV. When they called me, I was very excited. Uh, I, they felt that like, you know, that MTV believed in me once again. And, but at the same time, I didn't believe in myself at that time. I was newly in recovery. I was two years sober. And I thought to myself, what am I gonna do on a show called Jersey Shore now I'm sober? Shows about partying. What am I gonna do? I don't even got six pack right now. I was chubby. I was out of weight. I wasn't my best self. I was like, I was insecure. My self doubt, my anxiety was at an all time high. But I had to take the opportunity. I had to challenge myself. I mean, I think it's very important that um, there is a sober member on the Jersey Shore Family Vacation cast. Um, who would have ever thought that would happen? But it is true. Um, I believe that I bring a, um, a sense of integrity to Jersey Shore Family Vacation and um, at the same time with some wittiness, humor and um, you know, being uh, authentic. It's, it's been a magic res recipe all these years. None of that would have been possible if I didn't have a positive mental attitude. That is the most important thing that I must stress to you guys. No matter what you're facing, addiction, depression, anxiety, you lost your job, a divorce, whatever it is, if you think positive and you continue to work one day at a time, I guarantee you, you will turn that obstacle into an opportunity. Today has been amazing. I am really impressed yes. with um, the amount of services you guys offer your clients here. Yes. I haven't seen um, many facilities implement a faith-based program as an option, and to me, that's what helped me survive his addiction and the addiction experiences I had with my family. Without faith, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be here today. So to see um, a facility offering that is, to me, just life-changing. I was impressed with everything behind the scenes. 
you know, there are so many employees here. Uh, it is, uh, it's pretty awesome because it's a lot of work, uh, you know, when it comes to recovery. And it shows that Banyan takes their job and their treatment centers, uh, you know, very, uh, you know, seriously. Yeah, so, all hands on deck. Yes. It's one of our favorite things, yes. but you guys really do it. Yes. <laughs> and um, the amount of facilities that they have across the country is very impressive. Um, my hat's off to you because uh, we've been in this industry for uh, quite some time now mm -hmm. and uh, we're very impressed. It is quite the situation over here yes. at, uh, at Banyan Treatment Centers. If you or a loved one are struggling with substance abuse, call Banyan today. The comeback is always greater than the setback.